Disoriented and trembling, I stumbled through the desolate streets of my shattered world, the acrid smoke stinging my nostrils and the deafening blasts echoing in my ears. Each explosion reverberated through my body, a cacophony of destruction that drowned out all coherent thought. The heat of the flames licked at my skin, an unwelcome reminder of the inferno that had consumed everything I once knew. Panic seized my chest, constricting my breath as terror coursed through my veins. The world around me was a chaotic canvas of devastation and anguish. The buildings that had once stood proudly now lay in ruins, reduced to piles of rubble and twisted metal. Others scurried past me, their faces etched with wide-eyed horror and despair, their anguished cries mingling with the chaos. The billowing smoke filled the air as remnants of spacecraft rained down like deadly meteorites, casting an eerie spectacle of destruction and despair. The scene was surreal, as if plucked from the darkest recesses of my nightmares. Amidst the chaos, a colossal vessel descended from the sky, its ominous silhouette emerging from the city ruins. As the spacecraft debris settled, creatures unlike anything I had ever seen emerged from the surrounding wreckage. From the billowing smoke, I caught glimpses of creatures, their forms bipedal, their movements eerily alien. They possessed a size and stature that surpassed anything imaginable. Awe and terror mingled within me, creating a conflicting storm of emotions that threatened to consume my fragile sanity. In the midst of this chaos, a figure hidden within the turmoil raised a weapon and unleashed a barrage of energy fire upon the invaders. For a fleeting moment, the chaos paused, defying its own fury. The air crackled with a burst of energy. Yet within seconds, the assailant was engulfed in an explosion. The shockwave rippled through the air, and the anguished screams of the fallen melded with my own rising panic. Driven by instinct, I sprinted towards a narrow alley, seeking refuge between towering structures. Every fiber of my being was awash with a surge of chemicals, compelling me to escape the horrors that loomed around me. Fear seized my essence, pulsating through my veins, urging me onward. Then, in the midst of my frantic flight, I collided with an armored behemoth. Its metallic shell reverberated with power, and its presence exuded an otherworldly aura. I looked up, locking eyes with an unforgiving gaze. Time seemed to stand still as my hearts pounded in my chest, threatening to burst from the strain. A weapon, poised to unleash devastation, paralyzed me in fear. But to my astonishment, they passed by without a glance, dismissing my inconsequential existence. Relief washed over me, mingled with confusion. How could I, a mere speck in this vast universe, be of any significance to them? The encounter left me with an overpowering sense of my own insignificance, a realization that the world as I knew it had shifted irreversibly. Above, a voice resonated in my mother tongue, reverberating through the air like a tormenting specter. In the name of the Terran Imperium, this world is now subjected to human rule. Resistance will be met with swift annihilation. Submit! The announcement pierced through the chaos, its words carrying the weight of an unyielding authority. It cast a suffocating shadow over our shattered realm, instilling fear and despair in the hearts of the planet's inhabitants.